I bought this headset from a reputable source. They are given as headsets good for crystal radio with 2000 ohm impedance and of course that's exactly what I am going to test. So I bought these headsets with my own money, nobody has paid me to do this video. This is uh, my fun in my spare time. So I will measure them with uh, a network analyzer and I have set the sweep from 400 kilohertz to 1.8 megahertz covering the AM broadcast band. I had to do some uh, DIY work and uh, have to create an adapter and I had to create my own uh, termination uh, set for uh, the calibration. Uh, I will test the headphone now. So this is a 50 ohm termination and it is right where I expect it to believe and the value is 50 ohm at roughly 500 uh, kilohertz is the measurement. So off it comes and on comes the headset and the display will settle down in a moment. It has and at the same frequency I have, I read a value of around 2000 ohms. So they do what they say. I'm uh, very happy with that. I um, had to do some DIY work uh, as explained and build the termination. This is the uh, 50 ohm uh, calibration uh, that I created. These are three resistors, uh, each with a value of 150 ohm in parallel. So uh, with a quick math uh, that gives me a value of uh, 50 ohm which, uh, as seen, is correct and displayed in the right place, which uh, we expect. For fun and just for reference, a uh, 2000 ohm termination. And that, well, that's gone off scale, of course, but uh, it's uh, where I expect it to be. And the value is uh, around 2000 ohms as expected. Uh, fine with that. Let's uh, plug in the headset again. That's what I was trying to test, so that's what I like to see. Uh, the other uh, terminations, just for the sake of it, the short is shorted and the open is open. And that's it for the 2000 ohm headset. While I was at it, I decided to test the uh, these so-called high impedance earpieces just for the sake of it. They did not come with a value. So I said, why not? Let's uh, have a look. So let's do that and try and look at what value I get back from them. And there is the connection. Let's wait for everything to settle down. Well, that's under a thousand ohms. So that would be one kilo ohm. In fairness, there is some wire. So there is some distance. That's the ground plane, which I calibrated the device at. So if I would add take or leave, 10 nanoseconds delay. Uh, well, well, let me try that out. So uh, electrical delay, let's do that 10 nanoseconds. So there it is. So let's give that, uh, you know, a benefit. And uh, let's say that they could be or at least I can expect them to be around 1000 ohms, certainly not the uh, 2000 ohms of the headset. Just for the sake of completeness, I am taking the measurement at 500 kilohertz approximately, and I will not go. Oh, let me take that delay out. Electrical delay has to be taken out. Otherwise, we're off. There we are back to our uh, 2000 ohm, uh, a little bit more, 
three thousand. No, let's give it time to to settle down. And um, so that put me off. Yes, uh, I was about to say I take the measure of that five hundred kilohertz, and uh, I will not go into why this measurement is going down this curve. I could take each measurement, or I could plot the software in a software. Uh, plot the data in a software and have it spread out measurement by measurement, frequency by frequency. I will not do that right now. That's beyond the scope of my test. I'm happy that I can measure that these headphones, which I have bought for use for Crystal Radio, high impedance, 2000 ohm. There we are. Bingo. That's it.